beads are the stairs. Good night, Moon. First book Elizabeth ever got on her first birthday and one that one has always and always read. Blueberries for sale. Because we read it every summer and then we picked all those berries, blueberries, blackberries, it didn't matter which kind, which led to jamberry with raspberry, jazzberry, and rasmatazazberries. And all the kids know that one. The Just So Stories, an old, old, old book, which used to belong to my older brother, Eric, and has the wonderful stories about the elephant, uh, the, how the camel got his hump, the, the elephant's child, and how the camel got his hump. Now, The Hobbit, probably the first book that Soren remembers everyone fighting over who got to read it to him when he was in second or third grade, far too young for that. And Math for Smarty Pants, which includes lots of games that Elizabeth and Kate used to play in the car and is probably responsible for Elizabeth being a math PhD. The Phantom Tollbooth, that I don't think I ever read to anyone, but they all say is one of their favorite books. Harry Potter, lots of Harry Potters. The first one was Kate's, but everybody read them and everybody saw them until I got tired of a few of the stories, but everybody else knows them pretty well, except maybe Bob. Bob, on the other hand, bought Soren his first Kelvin and Hobbes book when Soren broke his leg and was wandering around, being wheeled around some mall, someplace. The same weekend he broke his leg, he also got braces. Third grade? Maybe. Second grade? Maybe. And of course, To Kill a Mockingbird, which Bob and I read to each other on a car trip long before we were married, up and down the Oregon coast, of Mice and Men, which none of us have ever read together, but all of us have read separately, and everybody knows is one of those classics that you have to have on your stairs. And English Creek, Bob's first favorite book by Ivan Doig.